audio. If you haven't heard it today, let me be the first person to tell you that I love you so very much. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading. Now Cancer, I also do your weekly general reading which I'll, for your zodiac sign which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Cancer, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some dare regards to you. Mm. Excuse me. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever, Cancer, I promise you. If you find some cards that resonate with you, though, be sure to let me know in the comments below because that's how I keep up with y'all. It's through the comments, hearing y'all's aha moments and how they correlate with your life, right? The cards, that is. Um, if you do find a reading a uh, card that does resonate with you, I'd love for you to give me a like and subscribe as well, Cancer, because it does help out my channel a lot. Now, yours, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me, Cancer. And then finally, this reading here is just to give you some perspective, some food for thought, Cancer. I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live in your mind. I'm just hoping to give you something to think about as you go throughout your week and something to consider, right? Uh, but let's get into your reading now. The overall energies that we have this week for you with these two animal spirit cards is the number 13, the cat spirit equaling to 4 for numerology. Claim your independence, Cancer. Uh, so this is definitely like an energy of getting out of that codependency energy. This is, um, when you think of the cat, it would be like an, you're associating perhaps like, and this is just an example, right? It doesn't have to be your case. Uh, perhaps like you're associating too much of your happiness or putting too much weight of something in your life to this other person, right? So maybe your day isn't complete or your day isn't fulfilling to you until this person texts you and responds to you and if they don't respond to you even for that day you wasted a day waiting for them and your day is just kind of ruined um and you just don't feel fulfilled because you just don't allow anything else to come into your life and like your whole focus is like this person almost it feels like you really want this person to um just whatever your reasoning is like you just <laughs> you just have a lot of um energy towards this person i guess and then you have the humpback spirit coming in uh humpback spirit humpback whale coming in for you cancer which says music is essential to your healing and well-being whether singing playing an instrument or just listening uh i feel like this card more so comes in of asking for you to disconnect from this person for a little bit finding some type of way finding some type of um, outlet that doesn't associate with this person, right? You're always waiting. Let's just say that you're waiting for this person to respond to you and like you're not happy until this person connects with you in some level. Um, we need to fix that, right? We don't want to have all your energy be reliant on this other person, right? We want to be able to be independent people. We want to be able to have people just be a um, asset to our life rather than being an essential thing to our life, right? So let's look at the tarot side of things. I'm going to be pulling a card for you, Cancer, a card for them, um, and then a card for the energy between y'all two. So you got Ten of Air. So Ten of Air is the Ten of Swords. The end of... As I was saying, this card says the end of a difficult situation, Cancer, embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction, which that part I don't really feel like. I, I mean, maybe if, if you see it as an addiction to like um, keep constant refreshing, like you're looking at your phone to like see if they texted you back or something like that, right? Breaking that habit of constantly checking your phone and seeing if they messaged you or checking their social media, right? Cancer, you know, just ideas. I'm not accusing you of doing any of that, obviously. Um, but when you have that card coming in, this is a way of... Um, Almost trying to like <sighs> breaking free of someone's hold is such a random message that I'm getting, right? Like, I don't want to say breaking free of someone's hold, but like finally, like it's almost as if like for a while, Cancer, you put so much energy into something or this person and at some point it just wasn't... Maybe nothing even bad necessarily happened, Cancer, but maybe it was getting onto that borderline obsessive energy, right? And it happens, right? We're all human. Like, anyone, you're a liar if you haven't been able to have that type of emotion when you just feel really strongly towards someone, when you just care. You just care a lot, Cancer, right? And it's not a bad thing. 
Um, you just need to be balanced to it, right? Find a way to find your own thing, find a way to disconnect um, from this energy and find your own happiness. So when you come to this person, you're able to feel complete with, or you're able to uh, connect with this person from a place where your cup's already filled and not expecting them to fill your cup in some type of way, because that's just setting yourself up for disappointment and a lot of heartache, which you probably already have experienced. Um, their side of things, Cancer. It's the Queen of Water. Queen of Water says relationships developing to a new level, trust your intuition, and care for caring for yourself and others. Now, the traits for the Queen of Water is tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. I see this person, honestly, Cancer, as someone that... I don't know why I feel the need to say this, but I see them as having an open mind, Cancer. I see this person being pretty accepting. Um, I can't help but feel that this person kind of is in it for the long run when it comes with you, right? I I don't know. It's such a weird message that I'm getting where it's just like, I don't know if you like, if, well, okay, seven of, uh, seven of Earth is the back of the deck energy. So there is some type of anxiety when it comes to this energy, right? And maybe that anxiety only stems from like that codependent energy because you just want them in your life like so badly or you just want um, every waking moment uh, with this person to just be together and just whatever, right? But you have to acknowledge, Cancer, that people are just, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say people have their own lives because that sounds so condescending, right? But you have to think about it in a sense of where it's like, just because they don't respond to you immediately, right? Doesn't mean they don't care. Just because they don't um, text you every single day, perhaps, doesn't mean they don't care. It just means their love language is different, right? I see this person having like their own set of emo like being in touch with their emotions, having their own range of emotions. Um, it just may not be in the way that you're used to, right? They may express their love or their affection in a way that you just don't know how to anticipate. And I feel like it's through that realization that's when um, the end of a difficult situation comes in. I feel like once you start finding like your own thing, you're a way for you to find your own happiness and get a, just a little bit of distance from this person. I feel like... Um, I feel like that's when things will just start linking back up in a very organic, nice way. Uh, you have the Four of Fire, which is the Four of Wands as the energy between y'all two, which is the best card to have for the energy between y'all two, uh, because this card says contentment, peace, and abundance, a happy home life, and the successful completion of a project. Now, this is the 1111 card, um, Cancer. This is the card where... Um, it's kind of like that walk, just walking through the portal. This is the card where it's just like, it's already in the bag. Both parties just have to make the choice of walking forward into um, this happy connection, whether it's romantic or platonic. Um, so it was one of those things that just stop overthinking things. Um, find your own happiness. Stop putting everything in, like, I don't know. I'm not going to speak too much more on that, but I feel like... I feel like Cancer, it's like you want this so badly and you want this to work so badly with this person that it's like through you trying so hard, it might come off as suffocating or you might end up, it just isn't doing a service to you. Regardless of what's happening in terms of this connection, I just don't see it doing a service to you for caring so much, right? And I know like, especially having listened, <laughs> I understand more than probably anybody else in your life cancer of how you can just easily be invested in someone when you just care a lot like it's understandable but the problem comes in where it starts negatively impacting you right because you put in a bunch of energy and perhaps you're expecting them to match you and that's just not realistic right that's setting yourself up just to be upset uh, but let's pull some tarot for your side back of the deck energy page of wands so yeah i do feel like this is just going to be a weak cancer or where it's like get this perspective the end of a difficult situation ten of air the closure closure of a cycle right because tens represents closures pages rep represents new beginnings a new start this could be like the fresh start a new approach when it comes to this connection a new mindset a new view when it comes to this connection right um, and it's almost like through you identifying this devil in your life, which I would feel like this devil would just be like that codependency energy. This devil would be just like that 
unbalanced energy of where you feel like you just need them and you want them all the way in your life no matter what right and it's okay to want somebody right but you want them to just add something into your life not provide something in your life does that make sense when you add something to your life you're just adding to what's already there when you're providing it kind of gives a sense of where it's just like they're giving you something that you need or at least that's how i view it right and then you kind of want to step away from that you want to be in this four of pentacles king of pentacles energy of where it's just like you're making like the good investments for yourself and that's the thing notice with both of these cards they're by themselves king of pentacles especially they're they're enjoying like a good book <laughs> right i know it sounds like such a cliche of where it's just like stay at home and enjoy a good book you don't need to go out partying you don't need to have um friends or whatever right you just need a good book and a dog right and that's fine and dandy well as true as that might be um i feel like <sighs> I just, I don't know. I feel like this is an, I feel the need to defend this energy for you, Cancer, in the sense that you don't like, because it's like you want this connection so badly, like you're, you see this, these two cards and you hear the message and you're just kind of cringing inside. It's like, I don't want to read a book. Like what? Um, but I really do feel like the less you try in making this connection work, and like the mo less energy you keep really trying to, um, put into this, I feel like the better off, like the, energies of it will organically just work themselves out in a really good way but you know take that as you will um let's start start pulling some cards for them now cancer on their queen of water see what's up with them what are their intentions with you we have the magician card we have the nine of wands and then we have the nine of cups all right so yeah I see this person, okay, the one thing I want to say though, Cancer, with this person is this Nine of Wands, this is a person that's not quite done with something yet. This, I feel like this is a person that needs to um, have closure in something or go on to uh, this soul uh, searching journey with themselves, right? I feel like they need to go on some type of experience or like just put an end to something else going on in their life or do something in their life that's completely separate from you, right? Um, this Magician card in this Nine of Cups lets me know of where it's just like, once this distract, I don't want to consider this as distraction, but it's almost like they need to go through something to build some character, to get some insight to, or something in some type of way. And then they can be in this Magician Nine of Cups energy of where it's like they're able to, that's when they will be able to be feel ready to like walk through that 1111 portal with you, right? So maybe for a while, like, here's the thing, Cancer, let's just say like, the storyline that I'm getting here, right? It's like, you care so much about this person because you see the potential with this. Maybe you maybe you feel like they're a soulmate or a twin flame or just part of your soul tribe, right? And it's because you're just feeling these really strong feelings, uh, Cancer. It's not really necessarily like a codependent energy, right? It's just like an energy of being like, I know we would be like really, really, really good friends or really good whatever if you just gave this a chance, if you just matched my energy, right? But you can't be upset with them because they don't see what you see right now. But it's because you see what you see, you're trying so hard because it's just like, oh, just come over here, right? There's this 1111 portal, like, oh, just come over here. And there's like this frustration that builds up when they don't follow you, right? You're just like, what's going on? Do they not care, right? And it starts beating you up a little bit, right? You need to get out of that. You need to address that devil, um, address that ego, and stop taking things so personally in that way and just like you know just find your own happiness find your way to like while they figure themselves out right while they go on this nine of pentacles journey or nine of wands journey you are just chilling in the back listening to your music doing your own thing doing creating your own happiness because you know you don't need them you'll 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 be sitting there you'll be ready to receive them once they are done if they're ready right and if you're ready to at that point right but there does seem like they have to finish something first before they walk through that 1111 portal with you, right? But I do see this being a caring person. I do see this person ha being emotionally open, not closed off. Um, but they also just have like their own, they have like, they have something in mind, I guess is what I'm going to say. Like with this nine of wands, they have something that they need to do. So you might see them as like that two of swords energy where they're closed off and guarded but it's simply just because they're trying to 
handle something. They have something that they feel like they really need to do, but maybe they can't even explain. So let's get some four fire clarifiers. We have the Hanged Man, the Ace of Wands, and the High Priestess. Okay. This is good energy, though. So this is like, listen to your intuition, um, Cancer. This is a card where it's just like, make sure that you're in tune listening to your intuition and not your ego. Because your ego can be misconstrued to sound like your intuition when it's not right? You can have trust and, and know that things are going to work out with this person. Don't overthink things. If things like, yeah, you can feel what you want to feel. This kind of confirms that like there is something deep there, Cancer, but you kind of have to let it go at it. Go at it. You kind of have to let this connection go at its own pace and have it happen organically. You can't force it to happen no matter how badly you want it to happen right now. Um, Ace of Wands and Hanged Man is letting me know more so where it's just like, again, I feel like this is the person. I feel like once they commit to that nine of wands and have their hanged man moment, it sounds dramatic, but it's not that hanged man moment where it's like a perspective change It's almost like this. That's what this person is going in for a perspective change, some character growth, some character development. And once they have that hanged man moment committing to whatever that nine of wands is, that's when they're ready to go forward with this ace of wands towards that four of fire, that that portal, right? That 1111 portal with you. So it all comes together so beautifully. You just have to be a little bit more patient when it comes to this connection and just accept that it's not going to necessarily work on your timeline. With this four of cups energy in the back, I suspect that's just not going to be something that you're going to be happy with, right? But I have to be honest, Cancer, right? I don't want to just like promise you, make empty promises to you if I don't see that. But um yeah definitely let me know how this reading resonates with you cancer let me know what song if you find like your own distract well, we want to call them distractions you find your own outlet right for your healing right for your own happiness let me know what you what your humpback uh whale thing will be that sounds so weird doesn't it um if you enjoyed this reading be sure to give this video a like and subscribe cancer and then also be sure to share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my videos but until next time cancer i love you so much Bye.